Hi everyone! I thought I could do a little introduction since I am now using this channel to post my cello progress. Uh, I started, I posted originally because I really wanted to have a record for myself uh, because there are moments in your learning adventure where you hit kind of a plateau and it's really hard to see how far you've already come and so it's a really good reminder. Uh, plus, I have really, really, really enjoyed and been inspired by other adult cellists or people learning to play the cello who have posted their progress, as well as other instruments too, not just exclusive to the cello. I just really enjoy those progress videos because it provides inspiration and hope that yes, with practice and diligence, anything can happen. So anyways, hello. This is my new beautiful cello. This is my very first cello. I have now been playing for five months and three weeks. So this Friday will be my six month anniversary, which is really, really exciting. Uh, and I'm proud of myself for sticking with it for that long. <laughs> uh, I wasn't sure where I was gonna go with the cello, but now I have my very own and it's really special. So my very first cello. Uh, I was renting one for a long time. This one is set up a lot differently than my rental. The strings are a little bit higher and so it has been a bit of a learning curve, but I feel like my fingers have gotten so much stronger, <laughs> just like forcing myself to work with these higher strings. Um, but I, according to the luthier that I contacted, everything's set up correctly because at first I was like, this bridge is too high, I can't play on this. <laughs> I did try many, many cellos though uh, before I purchased this one. I ended up going with this one from Char Music. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about Char already. Uh, I live in a really rural, remote location and so it was kind of difficult um, trying out a variety of cellos, but I was able to uh, try this one. I went to a shop that is like four and a half hours away and I tried a bunch there and I was even able to take one home and I had that for two weeks. Uh, so I'm very appreciative of those opportunities but this is the one that we have gone with and I say we because I do have a teacher and uh, she's phenomenal. <laughs> I'm so so lucky to have her. Uh, she's a Skype teacher because there's nobody up here that could teach cello, so uh, I was a little worried and skeptical about how Skype lessons would go, but she's so perceptive and she has such a tuned-in ear that she can hear the most subtle things, and uh, which is difficult on its own, but through Skype must be extra challenging, so it's been impressive and she's been able to give really, really helpful, valuable feedback. So. Anyways, right now I'm working on the Bach suites um, for the suite, just the minuets for suite one. That's where we're starting. Uh, and it's been a really wonderful, challenging journey, but I have learned so, so, so much, especially with minuet two. I feel like I have a lot more confidence moving up into like fourth position, um, second position, <laughs> third position, all those positions. Um, which can be a little scary and I felt so proud but like there's still this huge span of fingerboard to learn but we'll get there baby steps and then I'm also doing vibrato exercises regularly because I really want that to develop of course and I know that could take forever I should say what my background is because I feel like I'm cheating a little bit I played the violin for a very long time I haven't, I still have a violin, but I haven't played it in at least 10 years. I probably, yeah, about 10 years. I'm 32 now. Uh, I think I probably stopped around 22. It was always a love-hate relationship. I had a really difficult time with it. Uh, and I, I, I don't know, I didn't like to practice. I just liked to play music. And I think that was really a big setback. And I also, my like study of the violin was very splotchy. I started in sixth grade uh, in orchestra uh, and then finally took private lessons during those middle school years and then stopped in high school until like I think my saw, uh, 
junior and senior year and my teacher actually really encouraged me to pursue music so I that's what I started off doing but it was very very intimidating because I was surrounded by people who had been playing non-stop since they were like four years old and I was like what was I ever thinking I can't do this so I stopped <laughs> um, but I think that gave me a really good foundation because the the instruments are very familiar. There's a lot of things that are very similar. Uh, but I feel so much more connected to the cello, and maybe that's just my maturity. I was very immature, uh, as we all are when we're young. <laughs> uh, I just feel, I think, more comfortable to explore and to try things. And I also love practice, like legit, focused practice, which I never did on the violin. I hated it. And now I love doing scales with a drone and a metronome. Like That just brings me so much joy because I know how beneficial it is and how much it will help. I didn't see that when I played the violin. And my teachers, my private teachers, were always like, you're, you've got a lot of musical talent, but your technique needs a lot of work. And then probably because I one, didn't have a lot of experience, but two, because I never practiced. I just played music, and I liked it. Uh, so, anyways, that is my long rambly introduction. But say hello to my beautiful cello. It looks so bright and orange on the screen. It's a little more subdued in real life. Um, but, yeah, I hope that this cello and I will grow a lot together and this cello will be good for many years to come and we'll see. <laughs> That's looking really far in the future. I would love, love, love to be good enough one day to play in like a little chamber group or something of that nature. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't like playing on my own. I hated that in the violin. I kind of enjoyed orchestra, but I think I think small ensembles would be where I would feel the most comfortable. And I actually really like the idea of doing the bass line. I have gotten the wonderful opportunity to play duets with my mother-in-law, who is also learning to play the cello. And her and I, every chance we get, we play duets together. And I really enjoy playing like the bass line. I, I don't know. It's really satisfying. So. Anyways, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see lots of you guys in the adult beginner cellist group and here on YouTube. So thank you for posting your progress videos, and thank you for inviting me to your online group. <laughs> Bye. I forgot to mention my friends for my birthday bought me this awesome shirt that says, I don't always play the cello. Oh, wait. Yes, I do, which is <laughs> pretty accurate.